Well, despite the wind, the crosswind, um, you know, we managed to pull off a pretty decent flight. Well, the plane, the plane had a lot to do with that as far as uh, exceeding our expectations of what a Corsair normally does in wind. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, but it was uh, it was a good flight. I know you enjoyed it. And you could tell by the way you were flying. Yeah, I settled right in immediately. It looked good on film too. It it really filmed easy. Mm -hmm. You know, it was uh, fast. Man, the thing would haul when you yeah. kicked it, but it would also slow right down. It's big. It's, it's uh, heavier than the P fifty one, the Rock Hobby P fifty one. Yeah. You know, a high performance or high speed, and uh, but you didn't feel it in the air. It just yeah. it felt beautiful. In fact, we had you know I was able to go up there and just glide. Yep. And it was kind of a waste. It was, I kind of forgot for a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be doing cool stuff or try yeah. to do more sporty yeah. stuff with it because I'm review flying. And I was just like, oh, look at it glide. Yeah. <laughs> and I was throttle off the whole time. I was like, oh, where's my crow? Come around and do it again. Where's my oh, crow at? Yeah. Where's my crow? I want crow. So, um, yeah, it was. We'll save that for the review. Yes. Let's. Go ahead, Rob. All right. Let's Fired start. Up. Model characteristics. Build is advertised. 4.5 out of 5. Pretty much the same as the yeah. P51. No it? surprises whatsoever. Yeah. Pops right together. And this even has navigation lights on it. You know. That you can see. Yeah, you can. You can. They're actually, big LEDs, yeah. 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 So, um, no additional complexity yeah. for the P51, which the P51 scored the same. Yep. Went together nicely. Instructions take you down through the steps, and they give you some extra parts. Extra, you know, clubs Always and things good. like that. Never yep. know when you just might want one to keep in your wallet. Exactly. All right, finish four out of five. What do you have in your wallet? Mm. If you keep clevises in there, never mind. Do you what know was it? Four out of five? You don't ask what's in a lady's purse. No, you don't. All right, finish four out of five. Sorry, ma'am. Um, this, <laughs> this one has very nicely de applied decals. The paint's crisp. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's... Yeah, it's I mean, it's just, scored it's right at the top there. of the foam category. Yeah. Whereas we actually kind of broke that a little bit with the P51 as far as... Yeah, because I think we went 4.5. Yeah, what well, we did. But it, it had exceptional coating on yes, it. Yes, so it did. This is good. But this, this is, is nice, too. It's uh, very this attractive. This up there in the top of the category. So. Yes. Uh, the pilot, we have to comment on him. He looks scared as... Yeah, he looks a little frightened. No. and um, He looks a little bit like... Yeah, what he's I get myself looking out to the right side yeah. like, uh-oh. Yeah. Maybe he noticed a rivet loose on a wing or something. Well, the All one right. we were doing, dude, he was kind of, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a B, B. I think he had compromised vision is all yeah. I want to say. He yeah. should have been a pilot. Checking so. out for Bs. All right, power, five out of five. Same power plant we had yeah. the P-51. It's their high speed, yeah. ripping fast, um, or powerful. Now, you won't get this highest speed out of the Corsair. Yeah. Um, uh, but, yeah, but it's you know still what? extremely fast. If you know? this isn't enough speed for you, then you just move up to something else. Yeah, That's all. I mean, it's just got, that simple. You're you know? well out of the park flyer typical yeah. category, and you've got unlimited vertical with this as yeah. well. I mean, it's everything you could possibly want from a yeah. power perspective. And the fact that you've got, you know, more wing area, more wing surface on the yes. Corsair design, um, more weight to the model. You don't feel that snappiness of the torque as much, yes. which is a good thing. Because, yeah. you know, feeling torque in an airframe isn't like, oh, you know, just it almost spun me around in circles. You don't want that. No. You no, want no, the no. torque, but you don't want it to affect the airframe that way. Exactly. So you had a little more stability, which which uh, was really nice. Good. Ground handling, five out of five. And on power, if we're talking about power oh. plant, you can't ignore that prop. Come no. on. It's cool. They had the little decals on it. They painted it like the prototype. Uh, one Reno one razor blade was one white. blade white, yeah. you know. Yeah. And it looks good. It has the, the mock. Um, uh, variable pitch hub on it. Yep. So, okay. Sorry. Go ahead. All right. You're good now. Yeah. Ground handling five out of five. Again, the the, the, the increased wing area for the size of the plane, um, it behaved extremely well. Yeah. Um, in, in ground effect, and in fact, it even handled crosswind surprisingly. Yeah, it did. Um, it so did. It, it did a good job. It, it was. I would definitely put this on that top list of the best park size. It's not a park flyer. Don't be confused with park size. Yeah. Um, Corsairs have ever flown. Yeah. It was it was impressive. Yeah. It was fun. It, it was. was very comfortable right off the bat. Yep. All right. Durability five out of five. Yeah. Um, that scores uh, it scores pretty high. But again, you're you're looking at a very very rigid wing. Mm -hmm. Tail surfaces are extremely rigid. Um, landing gears rigid. The yeah. little doors on a tail wheel. There's really not a lot to break on this. Mm -hmm. Even, and, the, and you have the benefit, it's four blade prop, which is usually a problem, but in just a few seconds, you don't have to crank this way down because it's actually keyed on the shaft. Yep. It's a hex shaft, it keys right in there. It pops right off, so you can, you can throw your, your, you know, your nose cone out, yeah. your, your hub back Spinner. on. Your, your hub back on the uh, shaft, and then just put it nose down. Hub, spinner, spin. spinner, spinner, spinner. Whatever. Whatever you want. I say hub. Hub. It this is, is a hub. variable pitch Prop hub, hub, right? Hub. On a real hub. one. Hub. Yeah. So anyway, 
You can put this back on. Thread this little knob. shiny, cool knobby thing with the little threads, threads in, in it. it. <laughs> Call it what you like. <laughs> you can put it back on and pop it down on its nose, which is a benefit over the P51 that we flew yes. in the same class, the same, yes. um, because you can't do that with a four blade or three blade prop. Yep. So it made it very convenient and easy. So it scored higher on its portability. Yes, it did. That's durability. Durability, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not jump For ahead. transport durability, absolutely. That would be in um, pilot experience. And we're moving on to that right now, Kurt. Oh, so move, move prepare on. yourself for Let more talking. Let's go. Let's go forward. Pilot experience. Flight is advertised. Five out of five. We've talked a lot about the flight already, but... We didn't have the wa the waggle wasn't pronounced. Nope. The Corsair waggle. Nope. Um, it didn't have tremendous slip. Didn't fight any adverse yaw, even in a heavy crosswind. Um, it's like check you down through the list. Yeah. Is it this? Does it this? Yes, yes, yes. Stall brake was even. Yes. Um, stall speed was extremely low, considering mm -hmm. the weight of the aircraft with the wingspan. Usually, yeah. expect a little higher. All the way down through the list, it just did. It performed exceptional. Yeah. And there's and it's really it's about all you can say. I mean, it is because we usually try to prep a pilot right for their first flight. Yeah. Well, you know, be, expect this, expect yeah. that. <clears throat> if you're at the advanced skill level that it requires. You're going to fly this off the ground and go, hey, cool. This yeah. thing flies really nice. You're not going to be, well, what was that? Or, oh, it has a tendency to do this yeah. or that. So there's really nothing to mention, nothing notable, which is good. It's That's always good, yeah. 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 All right, flight time, five out of five. Again, you know, I, I'm i filming for, I, I don't know how long I was filming for, four or five minutes, six minutes, something like that. And you said, all right, what else do I need to get? Because I've got a ton of battery left. What do you want me to do? And you've done it all. Yeah. So I had you throw a few more maneuvers in, but you had plenty of battery left. I think we got a solid seven or eight minutes out of this. Yeah, and there was tons of battery left. Before we end. landed. So <laughs> I want a, a bucket of these power supply, or power power configurations. Oh, yeah. I want the, the ESC, the battery, and the motor combination yep. with the props. And just it's put it all over this this size. Or you this know, they've got the, the diameter, the pitch, everything perfect on those props. Because those yep. things, that's probably, these are probably some of the best performing four blades we've had. Yep, the setup's perfect for yep. the KB of the motor and the wattage of the motor. And yep. it's just, yeah, on the four blade, on the 4S setup, it's very impressive. Field size. Obviously, this is not a park flyer because no. of its speed. Size, yes, you know, but um, don't, keep, be, don't be goofy. Don't fly it in a park. Yeah. We see it every review. Who's um, going to fly this and not get into that throttle? Exactly. They're going to at some point, exactly. and all of a sudden, and now they're ripping it 70 miles, 75, 80 miles, you know, whatever. Whatever it is, yeah. Well, but well above 60 um, yeah. down through the park. And these are not quiet planes. No, they aren't. They, I no. mean, you can hear them coming through the wind. Yep. You can hear the power plant. Not really hear the motor spinning, no, but, but you hear four the blade. blade prop cuts. Yep. They've got a nice sound to them. I mean, they're mm -hmm. not. It's not like you can just cruise over people's head in the park and get yeah. away with it. It's not going to happen. Nope. Uh, portability four out of five for the aforementioned uh, prop. Yep. Um, removable. Alone, yeah. Easy removal. Of the prop. Put it on its nose. Really, yeah. the only piece on this entire plane that is susceptible to damage is that pitot tube. Yeah. And that's yeah. it. The pitot tube. Yep. The gear's nice and stiff. You don't worry about yep. putting it. Letting that hit the seat or anything, it's not going to yeah. bend it or collapse it. So, so I think the the fear look of fear on that pilot's face is unfounded. I could be wrong, but I think he's looking over his wing at the pilot on the ground, thinking, "Man, you're oh. going to you're going to just destroy me." Oh, okay. Right. I guess could be. He maybe it's pre-race jitters. May, All it right. Be. Skill level <laughs> advanced. This one was for you, actually. He's looking at. He's this plane is intended for you, Rob. Is it? He, they already painted the face on, saying, "Oh God." <laughs> oh no. Yeah. He's, no, he's oh, oh. he's actually no. He can't be doing it to me because he knows if anything you do to it, I'm gonna fix it. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he is. Exactly. Ah, Touché. man up. Touche. Man up. Grab the yoke and throw the throttle to it. Okay. Come on. Skill level advanced. Well, that's why I don't have pilots in my planes. Looking at those creepy doll faces staring at you while you're trying to pilot it. <laughs> so what was that? I've said it twice now. One more I need time. To say it again. And Skill I'll get level. It one more time, and I'll put it on the bottom. Skill, Skill level. level advanced. There we go. Yep. Um, yeah, it's a four-channel plane. It's powerful. It's fast. Um, it's you know it's a warbird. Yeah. It it flies like a warbird. So yes. you're not going to want to be. It, you know, arguably, you could take these planes and even the P51 that we reviewed, and you could say this is intermediate to advanced. Because if you're an intermediate pilot and a solid intermediate pilot, you've yeah. got your orientation down. You can fly four-channel. Introducing flaps in more speed isn't. A, a deal breaker. Yeah. If you've got your flat turns down, you've got your crosswind management down. So you could argue this is intermediate to advanced. We put down advanced for safety just because these are so powerful. Sure. Very, very yep. hot power plants on them. Yep. And I uh, agree. But really, they're 
they're very well behaved in the air. Yeah. So overall, good experience. It Absolutely. Really was. Absolutely. Nice flying plane. If you'd like to see the full review, you can go to our website at tobefly.com. Uh, for our mobile users, you can go to rcflightsource.com. Dot com. Dot com. That's the new site. That's, That's new it. Dot com. Download the mobile app and take our content with you on the go. I'm Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby. And I'm Rob. Thanks for watching.